For a while now, there has been a trend within video games to become more cinematic, and a number of titles have edged towards being playable films rather than what would be traditionally considered a video game. I direct you to my reviews of The Medium, Before Your Eyes, and Siberia The World Before Prologue, all of which very much felt like games with dreams of being movies. Spoiler alert for those reviews, I awarded The Medium 9 out of 10, my highest ever review score, and Before Your Eyes got 8 out of 10, so you would be forgiven for assuming that I have a particular penchant for this style of game, but I don't. These titles were all very lucky in that they had a good story to keep me engaged throughout all the dodgy camera angles and arbitrary quick time events. I mention this because today's game of focus, Last Stop from Annapurna Interactive and Variable State, is most definitely a game that falls into the We Really Wanted to Be a BBC Drama Series category of interactive experiences. That phrase, interactive experience, might well turn you off in the same way that Walking Simulator seems to dissuade a lot of gamers these days, but it shouldn't. There's nothing wrong with games simply wanting to tell a story and have the player experience a character's story through ways that don't involve button mashing or cover-based combat, but there is a tendency for games to land in the middle, neither being a purely narrative experience nor a full-on gameplay-driven title, and Last Stop does exactly that. The game is split into three distinct story arcs, with three very different protagonists and styles, and is naturally episodic in its nature. You have John, a single dad living through your standard Richard Curtis comedy, minus the romance, Donna, a typically rebellious teenager in London's best homage to Biker Grove, and Mina, who looks, sounds and acts like Eva Green auditioning to be the next James Bond. All of these arcs are pretty well written, with some very strong voice acting, and they all end up giving you characters that you care about, and that you want to know what happens to. Which is good, because mechanically, Last Stop isn't the strongest game I've ever played. The graphics are nice enough, although you could be forgiven for thinking you are watching The Sims the movie at times. The way characters move and emote is, for a game written with such subtlety and delicacy, a little over the top. And the character dialogue choices are sometimes quite arbitrary. You get your standard dialogue tree options, for example, I don't know, I agree, and excuse me. But on more than one occasion, I chose one option to only have the character say one of the other options word for word. And before people jump down my throat, the game sets itself up from the first as a game where the words you choose are the words your character says. You know, the good kind of dialogue tree. And then there are the quick time events. These cover a range of moments from boosting your character as they run, climbing various bits of scenery and combat, all the way to eating breakfast, stacking shelves and stamping envelopes. There are also minigame-esque moments too, such as the Guitar Hero-inspired piano recital halfway through John's plot, which was kind of cool but ultimately didn't add anything to the story, and the 007-style situation reading that Mida can do, which really did add to her character but only happened a handful of times. I think this is my second biggest problem with Last Stop. It wants to be a text adventure with very nice graphics, a story-driven game where the player's only input is their choice of dialogue, which would have been perfectly acceptable. But it's as if the game gets embarrassed and then throws arbitrary gameplay elements at us that take it away from being a high-quality interactive movie to being a moderately annoying walking simulator. Listen, developers, if you are going to make interactive movies or choose your own adventures, then do it. If you want to show us the TV show you wish the BBC would make for you, then do it. Don't back out halfway and have us press X to drink our morning tea as if your checking was still awake. Stick to your guns and trust your story to hold your player's interest. Speaking of story, my biggest issue with Last Stop is the story. Specifically, the ending and its payoff. It's another example of the writing losing its spine at a vital moment. I will not spoil specifics, but I am going to say something that will take all suspense out of the game, so if you want to skip to the final paragraph, then do so now. Okay? We all good to hear a very vague but quite important spoiler? Okay, here we go. In the final chapter, each of our protagonists is faced with a choice. These are quite literal, life-changing decisions that have profound effects not only on their existence, but on that of several others. So on my first go, I picked what I believe to be the noble or good choices for each character, and I got the expected good ending. So when I went back and picked the more selfish options, I expected a darker, more condemning ending that showed you the consequences of my... You already know where this is going, don't you? There were no consequences. The second ending twisted and contorted itself in every conceivable way to give you an equally upbeat, happy, fulfilling ending. 
There were differences, marked ones in fact, but none of them actually seemed to affect anything. Everyone just carried on as if the world was fine now, and that genuinely depressed me. After all of the investment, after all of the time and effort, all the character building, all of the world building, to find out that I had literally no control whatsoever was galling. Why bother giving us the choices and putting as much weight on the choices as you did if they were basically warm fuzzy ending 1 or warm fuzzy ending 2? You might as well have just told us what each character did and how it all worked out fine in the end, despite how much the lives of these people are literally ripped apart during their individual adventures. A lot of what I've just said won't make too much sense until you play the game, and despite everything I would still recommend you do that. It's not a bad game at all, and the story had me gripped right up until the ending, but it really does lack that bit of backbone and bravery from the writers in the final chapters to actually go the full distance and give us a conclusion that had a bit more moral ambiguity about it. And so to summarise, especially for those who've just skipped the end, I'd recommend having a look at Last Stop, but it does play a few things a little bit on the safe side, which ultimately lets it down at the last hurdle. Six out of ten. I've been Chris for Invicta Magazine, and thank you for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments, and if you enjoyed it, please do give this video a like and a share. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and keep up with all our latest content. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, plus we stream regularly on Twitch, and you can find all those links in the description below, along with our website. See you next time. Goodbye for now.